postcard perfect spring afternoon in Arlington, Texas. This is Choctaw Stadium, site of the XFL today as the Arlington Renegades look to put their stamp on a playoff spot. Hosting the San Antonio Brahmas as Bob Stoops team looks for a series sweep against San Antonio. No luck needed. This is the second consecutive matchup between these two teams. That's Javante Payton in motion, takes the toss, and he gets taken down, blown up by Jordan Williams, leading tackler in the league. From a pass to quarterback, and tried to take off with it, but immediately got taken down by Devontae Lambert. It's a loss of four. A good play by Lambert, but right there, signed a moment ago. Pass. That is complete. Finds T.J. Vasher for the first down. Pickup of 16. Excellent throw by pass on the corner route. See how they bend that corner just in front of the safety, and he puts it right on the big body of Vasher, who goes at 6-6. On third of five, pass delivers it on the money for first down to Akers, and he pinballs his way down to the 25. Really nice route and timing here on the throw. You see the delayed angle route allows everything to kind of uncover. And another nice throw from Pass. It feels like that completion to Vasher really got him going and he's starting to settle in now. That's Jaquez Patrick. And that's so easy. And the Rabbits got the gun. It's a loss of two. Donnell Payne, Donald Payne, Parmy seemed to know what was coming. Getting the ball out quick. Flutters just a hair. Just a poor job, though. Yeah, throw it up. Bash. We got him. He throws out of bounds. Field goal, field goal. Hines told me before the game time he will play today. John Parker Romo, 29 yard attempt. The unders looking real nice, Clark. <laughs> Three nothing. Don't one cash point. that ticket yet. <laughs> no, it's no. hang in there. We're waiting. We got it. There's the drag and the to Arcanado. That's his first catch. Gain of 11. Good throw, nice good job throw. getting that out on time. Felt the pressure coming. They went with edge pressure. Knew he had to throw it early. Anticipated the throw and. What is it? Here comes pressure on third and two. Got rid of it in time, but it's a little too high. And Dion Yelder couldn't bring it in. And there was a lot of room there, too. Like to get that ball on him just a little bit faster so that defender to the outside can't retrace and make a play on it. Balls on the ground, San Antonio with the scoop, and Jordan Williams is going to take it to the house. 39-yard fumble return after Dante Scott forced it out. Jordan Williams was out of football for three years. It was a great job retracing on the zone read. Gave him a pull look and then reacted quickly, but stripping the ball from Clint, who's got to be better. It's a huge play. Oh. the pass back in a quarterback. Incomplete. Trying to find Vasher. We go. Movement and the ball on the ground and Baker's got a fall on it. Here we go. Here let we him, go. Let him use the timeout. Hey, everything's Omaha, Omaha, we go, come on. You can see that snap hey, right on the shoelaces. Baker does a good job of of hopping onto it. Oh. oh! Full punt block, go after it. Because even if you rough the punter, San Antonio is not anywhere near field goal range. Our 10th punt of the first half. Powell. Finds it. Up to the first, and 
it's taken down at the 25 yard line. Once again, going the wrong direction. 47 yard punt, lost seven on the return. Time for some Capri Suns and orange slices. We hit the half, San Antonio. Some room from Damian Smith, and he picks up the first down. Gain of 13, back-to-back -back first downs for Arlington. Really nice cutback here from Smith. Nothing play side, he sees full flow, and he cuts it back. Breaks a tackle, it continues to fall forward. Only two first downs in the first half, and now a busted play, Blitt got busted. Man, he took a wrong turn and paid for it. And Plitt was wrong. Everyone else is going to the right. Plitt goes to the left. You heard him say, we're good, we're good. He forgot what the play was. That was a run-to-run -run check, meaning if it wasn't supposed to go right, you flip it and you go back to the left. He opened the wrong way, thinking the handoff's going to be to the left. And he paid the price for it, that's for sure. Take a listen. Long of 43 this season for Russellino. And this one is good from deep. Taylor Russellino bangs it through from 53. And the Renegades, who went punt, 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 fumble, punt in the first half, open the second half with a scoring drive. Nice kick there from Russellino. And Arlington is on the board. Pressure from the edge, picked up. Baker steps up and intercepted! Picked up by Donald Payne. And the Renegades have their hands on the momentum now. Never be late over the middle, ever. You cannot ever be late. Bankert unfortunately learns the hard way right here. He's rolling, trying to throw it back across his body against the grain. And the defensive flow is right out underneath the intended target where Payne is there to Holding. make a play. <laughs> Pressure coming. Flint lets it go in zone. Wow! What an unbelievable grab by Lamar Whittingham! And he launched it into the stands. 16 yard strike. And Whittingham caught that thing with the eyes in the back of his head. What an unbelievable catch by Whittingham. I don't even know how he sees it. The defender's right between him and the football. Throws his arms up, reels it in. What an incredible play. They're going to go for one to take the lead. They're two for two on their one-point conversion. Smith tries to punch it in. Stops short. We're tied at nine in the Arlington offense. After hitting the snooze button in the first half, finally got their wake up call. And nothing doing for Fred Brown. Josiah Coney had a Sniffed out, and it's a loss of eight. How about 327 pounds nose guard tracking down? It's all because the throw is a little off the mark. You see, kind of forces the receiver backwards, has to go to a knee. Sloater pulls it back, and then he got drilled. It's Alante Scott again, second sack of the game for Scott. Four sacks this year. And this is just a bad decision by Sloter. It's RPO, you got man coverage. The worst thing that you can do in an RPO against man coverage, you gotta hand that ball off. Now, it's obviously hindsight 2020. If you don't like the throw, you gotta dirt it. TJ Vasher has been targeted six times, only has one catch. It was Heinz Ward gonna pump up his quarterback, draw a pass. Now, Kurt Bankert is in, and Bankert's gonna float one deep downfield. And it is incomplete, but a flag for pass interference. And San Antonio's going to turn this into great field position. Darren Evans got flagged. Pass interference, defense, defense number, number 24. 24. Spot, Spot foul, foul, automatic first down. Just a great job taking a shot. Throw was a 
Actually, really nice from Banker. Obviously, the collision before the ball arrives is going to result in pass interference. A third and two to throw. Incomplete. Basher, the intended receiver, Evans had the coverage. And another opportunity there where Vasher doesn't have a chance to, to go up and try to make a play. And there was a lot of contact there. P.I. Call it. You've got to call it. I don't have any material restriction. Look at that high end zone. I'm gonna look at that. It's gotta be either legal contact or a holding. Defense Sand yeah. balls in the air, so it's pass interference or nothing. Once the ball leaves the quarterback's hands, it can't be holding, it can't be illegal contact. So I've got, I don't have any material restriction. All right, Chris, moving on the field will stand, no foul. Moving on the field stands. And communication with the Whitehead. After review, there is no illegal contact Dean on the walk play. Us San Antonio the used its was first time made. out and no longer has a right to challenge for the remainder of the game. We saw from the far side with a left hand on the shoulder patch. What would make it a pass interference in that scenario? Why is that contact not P.I.? Sure, there's two things. There's a legal contact prior to the pass, which is beyond five yards. The ball was in the air when the contact occurred, and there was contact, but it didn't materially restrict the receiver's ability to make a play on the ball. You're looking for a twist or turn, something significant, and we just didn't see it. Thanks for the time. Appreciate the insight. 45-yard attempt. And that is good. San Antonio didn't get the call. Hines lost his challenge, but they reclaimed the lead. Push the ball down the field. There it is. And he's open. Caught for the first down. Javante Payton. And a 48-yard strike for the Renegades. This is a great job. By Plint. Look at his eyes to the right, working that free safety in that direction. That bought him just enough time and just enough room to be able to squeeze that ball in on the downfield throw. It's an excellent job of manipulating defensive back. This is a 36-yard attempt. Eight of nine on the season, and it stays wide. He never had it. And San Antonio holds on to a three-point lead with under four minutes to play. Just wide right the whole way. Pretty good rotation. Contact appeared fine. Just pushed it. And they're going to try to grind this win out. Patrick with a first down run. And he slides down inbound smartly to pick up a 32. Just the entire defense for Arlington kind of just lost track. And now looking to extend the lead. This from 46. Wing the holder. Got the distance. And he splits it. He's got that girl dad power. And San Antonio now leads by six. No timeouts remaining for the Renegades. Complete to Caleb Vanderash. And he takes it to the 42. Lynn setting up the screen. Here's Letty Brown. Brown's got a first down. And an extra pushing on the edge. And if that's not Fulker, it's the center. Yes, it's going to wipe it off. No, no, we got it. We got it. Yeah. Okay, we're going to have we're going to have unnecessary roughness. Okay, hold, hold on. We have Sorry. a first down. Correct. Okay. After the play. Yeah. And that's our roughness 64. 64. Okay, yeah. so we're still going to have first and 10. Correct. Yeah. The result of the play is a first down. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, offense number 64. After the 15 yard penalty, it's first and 10. Flint taken down. No timeouts for the Renegades. Another sack. This time it's Drew Beasley to one. And they finally get it off. Flint fires, intercepted! Brahmas with another takeaway, Teddy Adeluce and San Antonio in a must-win game. Lights its defense to a 15-9 final.
game-ending interception. And going back to Plitt's perspective, it sounded like a play call came in late that he didn't think was a great call. Instead of getting on the ball, they waited, and that turned into a rush when the play clock was low. It just seemed like they, they, were, they couldn't quite get it communicated fast enough. Just a really disappointing way for a great game to end on a miscommunication between quarterback and wide receiver.